Fusro da. Fusro. Recently, Jenna Marbles made a video directly calling me out. My only critique of gamer grub is that you don't make enough soup. I've already said a million times I would eat soup all day, every day for every meal, regardless of the weather or anything. I, it's just the perfect meal to me, but you need to make more soups. So since she made this video, um, I guess I'm going to make some soup, but not just any soup. We're going to make it gamer style. The most useful soup in pretty much all of gaming is veggie soup from Skyrim. So since it's so useful, we're gonna make it. Just like how they make it in the video game. Bah, bah, yeah, bah. Half a cabbage. Cut that bitch up. Throw it in a pot. Potato. And the pot. Potato, tomato. Tomato. Leak, but not in the boat. Turn a burner on and put that shit on the burner. Cover it and let it cook for about an hour. Eat a docky moss. That was gross. Ugh. No flavor. Let me try it again. Yeah, gross. Don't ever do that. It will not give you stamina regen. Man, that's disappointing. I made it just like they did in Skyrim. So I thought it would be delicious. Let's actually make it, you know, a real way, a way that will be good. First, get rid of this and clean up the mess you made to make room for the real soup. First thing is first, gamers. We have to core this cabbage. How are we gonna do that, you ask? That's how. Oh God, it came a loose. Ugh. Sufficiently cored. Now you should probably rinse that out just to make sure. I mean, you should have cleaned that before and uh, the drill part, but clean it off again just to be sure. Now this should just break off pretty much. Okay, maybe not. Well, whatever, let's just get these leaves off. Get some good leaves. I've already washed this and everything. Right, let's get some good leaves. I'm gonna be only using about half of this, I think. I know technically the recipe is a whole cabbage, but uh, that's a lot of uh, stuff for one soup. So I'm just only gonna use half. Come off court. Okay, whatever. There we go, that's about half a cabbage. Put this aside and chop this up really finely as, uh, as much as you can. I don't, I'm not really an expert on chopping stuff. In fact, I, I, I know right now I'm doing this in a really stupid way. What the hell am I doing? Whatever. It, it's gonna be varying slices of uh, cabbage. This is the dumbest way, why did I do this? Uh, it's, I know I did because I wanted little pieces like this, but I also wanted uh, long pieces like this. That's why. And as far as these leaves go, I don't know. Just like cut it up a shit ton. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking care. I'm not your dad. Into the pot it goes. That's a lot of cabbage. Can you imagine if I made this with a whole cabbage? That'd be freaking ridiculous. Well, I think I need a bigger pot. Good thing I have one. Now the potato. I don't. I don't know if I should pre-cook it or not. Um, but uh, here we go. Just like cut it in half, and then uh, maybe cut it like this. And I, I'm not good at cutting things. Um, I'm not good. Whatever. At least it's uh, at least it's not hard to cut. You know. If I ever make this again, I'll know what to do. Essentially. Not really, I'll probably never make this again. Yeah, so okay, I'm just kind of like dicing it up like this, like like apple slices. 
Smells like potato. I mean, I don't know what else I expected it to smell like, but whatever. Okay, all the potatoes in the pot. Now leeks. There's a leak in the boat. There's a leak in the boat. I actually have never worked with leeks before. I don't know. Do you eat this part? Do you cut this part off? Is it kind of, it's, there's like onions, right? It smells like an onion. It's like a big green onion. I'm guessing you cut this bottom part off then. Wow. Didn't make it. Let's just chop it up. There we go. That, look, that looks good. That looks good. Now tomatoes. Uh, so I'm going to be using three. I know, I know like the Skyrim one only calls for one, but uh, I'm not making the Skyrim one this time. I think three will be, be a little bit better. I think it will like uh, actually, you know, do something. Uh, so yeah. What? Goodbye, tomato top. Now let's chop this bitch up. I don't really know how much to chop it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this kind of number. Actually, you know what would be really good? Why don't I blend the damn thing? Fuck it, you know. Let's go. Bop, bop, bop. Oh wait, no. That was the bad part. Yeah. Cut. And. That looks like puke. They didn't have blenders in the Dragonborn's time. Luckily, we're not in the Dragonborn's time. All right, move all this crap. Let's plug in my little single coil burner. Turn that bitch on up all the way, I guess. I don't fucking know. Pour that garbage in. Ew, that looked gross. Even with three tomatoes, it looks nothing like Skyrim soup. And because there's not enough liquid, we're actually going to use some uh, um, vegetable broth. We're gonna use vegetable broth uh, to be sure that this is a uh, vegan. So uh, yeah, let's go. At least I think this is, I think this is vegan. Ingredients, half a cup of celery, cup of green bell peppers, one cup of onions chopped, or cup, wait, what? Oh, I'm dumb. Ingredients, vegetable broth, water, carrot, juice concentrate, onion juice concentrate, celeric juice concentrate? What the hell is celeric? Carrot, onion, celery, and that's it. Yeah, so th that's definitely vegan, I'm pretty sure. Just pour the whole thing in there. I still don't think that's enough liquid, but I mean, we'll see when it cooks down. And I guess cover it just to, just to be sure. Yeah, just cover it and, uh, Let's sit on there and wait a little bit and uh, we'll, we'll see how it turns out, everybody. Okay, everyone, while we're at it, you know, since I'm not making the actual Skyrim, Skyrim uh, soup this time anyways, uh, why don't we bust out our spice weasel? Bam! This is a uh, roasted garlic, rosemary, and sea salt. Uh, let's add some of that in there. I think that'll be good. Mmm. A little bit of that in there. That was probably a little too much, but whatever. Some herbs de Provence. And some oregano, yeah, sure, fuck it. And a little bit of olive oil, just because, there, I mean, everything needs fucking oil, you know. Stir this shit up. Okay, it's not stirring very well. <laughs> There's so much damn cabbage in here. I just want this to turn out good. Please turn out good. If you don't, I'm going to be severely sad. I mean, that, that, that looks, that looks fine, you know, whatever, you know. Heat up and be ready. Okay, after about an hour of this uh, boiling and stirring every once in a while, you know, occasionally just to make sure nothing burns, uh, you can turn the heat off. And uh, it looks like it's done. The potatoes look like they're, they're cooked through and everything. So yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a shot, everybody. Fuck this slotted spoon. Need something like this, a ladle. Let's just get a big old ladle full of this. Whole bowl, I guess, whatever, screw it. Eat a docky moss. That's actually really good. 
I'm not really a soup person, so it's not like super great or anything to me, but I think for a soup, it's pretty darn good. Cheap too. I mean, all in all, this cost this much. And that's a lot of soup. I could probably get about maybe uh, four full meals out of that probably. And uh, you know, I think that's a pretty good deal. Thank you for watching everyone. I truly do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe.